Hi guys and welcome back to JavaScript Playground. In today's video, we will learn all about questing. In other programming language, you have to first declare the variable before you can use it. Say for example, in PHP, first you declare the variable and then you can assign some value to that variable. But in JavaScript, you can use it even before declaring it. So as you can see on the screen, we've assigned the value some string to the variable x and after that we are declaring the variable. This mechanism where variables and function can be used before declaring them is called hoisting in JavaScript. Let's give it a try. Let's say we have this variable num1. Let's give it a value of 10. And after that, let's declare this variable. Let's try printing it. So console log and num1. Let's run it. And as you can see, we've got 10 printed here in the console. Similarly, let's try a string. So let's say we have a variable string one and let's give it a value, say demo string. Let's try printing it. So console log and str one. And now let's declare it. If we run the code again, so first variable is printed with a value of 10. And then the second string variable is printed for the value of demo string. So what happens behind the scenes is that the variable and function declaration are moved to the top of their scope before code execution. Note this, it's very important. The variable and function declaration are moved to the top of their scope. Basically, JavaScript has two steps in executing a particular script. The first step is creation. And the second step is the execution of the code. In the first step, JavaScript analyzes all the code and allocates the memory space for variable and functions. All the variables are assigned a value of undefined when declared first. When you write this code, this is what JavaScript does behind the scene. It moves the declaration to the top of the scope, but the assignments are left in place. So if you try to print this num1 variable, even before you assign it a value, it will give you undefined. So let's give it a try. So let's try printing this num1, even before we assign this value, 10. Let's clear the console and run again. And as you can see, we've got undefined. Because what's happening here is, JavaScript moves this variable to the top of the scope and gives it a default value of undefined. And that's why when we print it even before assigning it a value, it gives us undefined. Similarly, if we try it here, so console log, and we pass our string one here, and we run the code. So as you can see, we got another undefined. Because again, when this uh, string was declared by JavaScript, it got a default value of undefined. And that's all for today. I hope this gave you a better understanding of variable hoisting. But if you have any doubts or queries, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to me on Twitter. I'll add my Twitter handle in the description below. Bye and take care.